G'day everyone. Today I'm just fishing over here at Lake Moodamere with my mate Brett. He's sitting over there. It's been very quiet. We've been here over an hour and I've just had the one nibble. But I've got my deeper Chirp Plus fish finder just sitting out here in front of me. Just like an eye in the sky, but it's like an eye under the water instead. And it's just keeping an eye out to see if there's any fish swimming around. And I thought now would be a good time to walk you through the, uh, the deeper app and show you how to use the fish finder settings on the app. I'm not going to cover how to connect to the app or anything in this video. I'm just going to show you the basics of how to use the fish finder and what the settings mean. When you first turn it on, this is what it will look like. Now, in the top here, you'll see that little cog. If you push that cog, that will uh, bring out these little options on the right-hand side. If you push it again, they disappear. So if I push that cog, up the top here, the top one is fishing mode. On the left, which I'm in now, you'll see the little deeper icon. That pretty much means the default setting. The next one is shore-based fishing, which is how you create a bathymetric map. And you can see over the left here, I've been playing around with that over the last few minutes. Now over the left where the bathymetric map is, you can see there's a little circle with two arrows. I can drag that either way I want to, to make that, uh, to make that fit more or less on the screen. You see that? You can make it bigger, I can have it really small like that. But that is for creating a bathymetric map, and that'll be stored and backed up on your deeper, uh, on your deeper lake book. So I'll go back, I'll hit the um, cog again, and I'll go back into the settings. The next one over is boat mode, which is pretty similar. What that does, it just it uses a, uh, it just is a, the same fish finder on the right hand side. But over here, basically, it just shows you where you are on any given lake. So it brings up a map so that you can navigate around the lake using the map while you're using the fish finder. Now I'll go back into there. Over the side here, we've got night fishing mode. We've got ice fishing mode, sorry. And I've got to be honest, I'm not 100% sure what, night fish, what ice fishing mode does because we don't get frozen lakes where I live. In fact, on the coldest of nights, we even get frost. It's a very hot, even a hot part of the world. So we've got up the top right-hand corner, we've got ice fishing mode boat mode, shore mode, which is bathymetric maps, and just the standard default mode, which is what I'm using now, just to uh, use my fish finder as an eye on the water. Now underneath that, we've got sonar display, raw and basic. Raw is what I'm on now, I'm on raw, and as you can see, it's just showing that there's a bit of green stuff on the bottom. What that green is, it's just soft mud, and then it goes down to a more compact sort of ground underneath that layer of mud. If I go into basic, what you'll see is it just shows you where the bottom is. You can see basic there now. So right about now as the uh, as it scrolls across, you can see the difference between raw and basic. Most people that have been using fish finders for a while or are experienced prefer raw. But basic in an, in an environment like this, where there's no snags, no structure, the only thing that's likely to be detected by the fish finder is fish. Basic is just fine. Basic is fine for helping you find the depth and seeing just how deep or shallow the water is in any given spot, and it'll pick up a few logs as well. Using the Deeper Chirp Plus in Basic is just very much the same as using the much cheaper Deeper Start. That's what the Deeper Start would look like right now if I was using a Deeper Start. So I'll go back into Raw. Underneath we've got Beam Angle. Wide, mid, and narrow. This is a personal choice. I prefer narrow in deeper water, mid in you know, not so deep water and wide in shallow water. At the moment, as you can see on the top of the screen, I'm in 1.4 meters of water, so wide is the best choice because it's going to cover more of the bottom under the finder. A wider beam is going to is going to see more. If I go into mid, it won't really look that much different on the screen here, but it's probably just looking at less of the uh, less of the bottom underneath. So I'll go wide because it's shallower, but once again, that is a personal choice. Underneath that, you've got sensitivity. I've got it on 60%. If I turn it up to 100, it probably won't make a great deal of difference just here. But if you're in an area with a lot of current and the water's swirling around a lot, or even a lot of crap in the water, leaf litter or something, you might find high sensitivity is really, really bad. High sense, I used this once in a really fast river. I've made a video about it called Sounding Out Jordan's Hole. I'm sorry, not Sounding Out Jordan's Hole, Sounding Out McCormick's Hole where there was a lot of backwaters and eddies and currents and rapids and I had to have that sensitivity right down to low because what the water does is it swirls around the rocks and creates a lot of current it creates a lot of air bubbles and that high sensitivity picked up all those air bubbles and the screen was covered in white spots it looked like grain in a really poor grade film photo from the 1980s <laughs> so you want to have the sensitivity down 
I normally have it at about 50. If I'm picking up too much interference and too much crap, I'll lower it. If it's nice and clear like now, you can go a lot higher and that'll help you detect smaller fish. Underneath here, we now have fish icons. You've got show fish icons. I've just turned that off. Or you can turn it on. And you can choose here, large, medium or more small as to which size icons you want on your screen. I don't use fish icons a lot. In a lot of the places I fish when I'm fishing for, say, Murray Cod, the fish icons, what that does is it shows you every little log and rock on the bottom of the river as being a fish. So I prefer to turn that off. But in saying that, where I am now, I'm in a pond or a, a smooth lake with no rocks and no logs. So if it shows up something on the bottom, it is going to be a fish. So I've got the fish icons turned on. Underneath here, we've got fish depth. What that does, when it shows you a fish, it'll tell you how deep it is. It'll say, you know, 0.4 metres, 1.6 metres. If you're in 30 metres of water, it might say 21.4 metres. It'll tell you what, which area which of the water column the fish are sitting at. And down here, we've got fish alarm. Underneath fish depth, you'll see fish alarm. I've got the fish alarm turned on now. Because what I'm doing, I'm using my my sonar on my deeper chirp plus as a bit of a night watchman so i can just put my phone down beside me like this and just not pay attention and it'll go ping when a fish swims underneath so i've got that turned on now but once again in areas with lots of logs and lots of structure when i'm fishing for say murray cod i have all that turned off and to turn all that off all you've got to do is turn off the bit that says show fish icons if you turn that off all of that automatically turns off now underneath here we've got color palette at the moment you'll see i've got it in the one with the uh, the little deeper logo just there so that's just like the default that's giving me the default uh, that setting if i go into night mode just here or bright day i should say this is the one you should use in the bright day and that'll help you see it through a glary phone if your phone screen's glary if you're in sunshine obviously if it's too glary you'll still struggle but this will really help a lot and then over here we've got night mode where that moon is you put that in there and that's the one you use at night time because it's easier on your eyes to look at these duller flat colors than it is to look at a bright white color so i'll put that i'll put it back to my um my standard then we've got night fishing i'm not 100 percent sure what the night fishing mode means to be quite honest I've, uh, i haven't actually done any night fishing with the deeper chirp plus so all right so i'll go back to my settings this is how i want it i want it in standard mode at the top here under fishing mode which i'm in I want it in raw, I prefer raw over basic, although at the moment in this sort of waterway it doesn't really make much difference. I like a wide beam angle because I'm in shallow water. The sensitivity, I might even turn that up. Because there's no because there's no current, there's no bubbles underneath, there's no nothing floating past. I'll, I'll have it on high. That might, might detect smaller fish if they're around. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn my fish icons back on. And I'm going to... Did you see the fish or the fish depth? It's got up and down. One, one of them tells you how deep in the water it is. It might say it's down at 9 metres. The other one tells you how far off the bottom it is. It might tell you that it's 4 metres off the bottom. But if you just put it on that setting there on the left, it just shows you where it is. And I'm going to leave my fish alarm on so that I can just sit back and listen out for the fish alarm to see if a fish swims past my fish, my, uh, fish finder. Now, to get rid of that, I'll push that little cog up the top. Now, that's all gone. Now, that's all I'm going to show you now. There's a lot of information there. I don't want to give you an overload of information, but the main settings are over here on the left. You see those three lines on the top left-hand side of the screen? If you touch them, then you've got a whole lot more stuff over here that you can go through. But I'm not going to go into that now. That's, for, that's, a, that's a video for another day. Anyhow, folks... That's how you use the settings on the uh, the deeper fish finder. And you remember, folks, I'm using the deeper chirp plus. Rightio, yeah, folks. Now, hopefully that helps you out and teaches you just how to use that menu setting on your fish deeper app while you're using your fish finder, whichever model you may be using. Just remember, as I said, the, uh, the options and the menus will change a little bit depending on which fish finder you're using. I'm using the deeper chirp. Now, with the, whether it's the deeper chirp or the deeper smart, deeper pro, deeper pro plus, I can get you 15% off retail price if you use my discount code DeeperRobbie15. If you go to the deeper website in Australia, that is, if you're in Australia and you go to the deeper website, and uh and use the discount code deeper robbie 15 you will get 15 percent off any model of uh deeper fish finder if you choose to buy one and i'll put a link to that in the video below all right folks thanks very much for watching i hope you found this video informative and hopefully i'll see you in my next video